Greetings, my lovelies. Welcome to Aries, Caribbean Tarot. My name is Shwanaya, and you can spell that S H W A N I Y A H. Kindly check me out in your Spotify and let me know what you think about my music. Take a look at my Spotify, then come back on the channel. Let me know. Email me, WhatsApp me. Let me know what song you like, what you don't like. I do appreciate all types of criticism now remember that these are general readings don't take it too personal if it is very correct it's just because i'm very good at doing this okay now in the description section um below is where you can find out more about myself we have a few links down there that you can click on please spend some time in the description section while you watch this video this is your goddess advice from the divine feminine deck and from the goddess deck african goddess rising now link one in, in the description section is my spotify link link two is how you join the channel to get access to all the extended videos link three is how you follow me on whatsapp my, my whatsapp channel where i will put motivational videos as well and link four is other links to my other tarot channels right link four five six i have a few other tarot channels if you're looking for other tarot readings after this you can check my other channels where i do for all signs right we're getting into it kali i i felt this this goddess i heard it and i felt it before like i was feeling it i'm like what okay now before i started the reading i've been up here doing my books and doing my studying and that and nothing was bothering me as soon as i started the reading i start seeing this black panther again I, I don't know if it's a panther or it's a jaguar or something like that i saw it this morning and i'm seeing it again right now so i don't know what that means to anybody i, I didn't get a chance to look up the symbolism usually i look up symbolism but whatever i usually see a lioness every day but now i'm seeing a black panther or puma a puma or something like that intuition here queen nandi so i want to read let's let's get the clarifiers for this you know we do it we're getting the advice we want deep deep advice and you want just you want to know what's up now i'm smelling roasted roasted peanuts or yeah somebody have some kind of a nuts in the oven or something like that or in a dehumidifier all right queen nandy let's see Thank you. We put that here. Eight of Pentacles. Interesting work or being willing to work on something. Okay, stay in this one. Mother of the universe, I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be truth. To be the truth of who I am. It's time to be the truth. That's what she's saying here on this card. <clears throat> I'm just feeling good. I have time to do this. Shocking, turmoil, unexpected truth. Oh my gosh. Let me just read this one first. Let me save the best for last. <laughs> this is easier to read. Advice for us. Okay, I'm seeing the black puma again. Intuition, goddess on her throne with her descendants, the next generation of holiness. 35 is the page if you like numbers. Okay, it says Queen Nandi is a Zulu queen fire element. And she's saying, you already know. Well, this is the second time this is coming for the day. <laughs> In terms of energy, you already know. Take a deep breath and surrender to what you know to be true. 
trust your inner wisdom and guidance right it says what is your guidance telling you put your hands over your third eye which is in the center of your forehead and ask if i knew what the answer is what would that answer be then follow your instincts after that the creator and your ancestors connect with you through your intuition trust your internal gps the nudges signs and coincidences are divine guidance so slow down go for a walk okay do walking meditation be present with nature and pay attention being present allows you to feel allows you to hear and see and sense your guidance say to yourself i am knowing now queen nandi is the mother goddess sorry queen nandi is the mother warrior of the shaka zulu okay so she's a royal energy and her father's first royal family her father's royal family rejected her because she wasn't pregnant they said that she wasn't pregnant and her belly resulted from an eye shaka beetle sting but nandi knew her son would be a great warrior before he was born so they were saying that <laughs> she wasn't pregnant she didn't have and she knows she was pregnant can you imagine that so the demons and them start to fight shaka zulu from the belly so you know who you are don't forget right let's see two of ones believe in your personal power you can always call on your natural talent and don't forget to stop and look back at your achievements eight of pentacles here eight of pentacles seven of pentacles queen of ones two of ones congratulations man congratulations this is somebody here full of ambition working hard beautiful passionate handsome talented courageous determined individual working hard you know and sleep and listen to me i didn't have to i didn't have to get this you don't sleep there's so much that you don't even have time to see and do how people admire you how people are spying on you how people want to be like you because your head down and your focus and the advice is saying you already know a work time you know it is saying your ancestors are here to help you you i am knowing you know what you have to do and you're doing it so round of applause for those of you who are doing this i feel good about this advice you already know keep on going i don't want to to, to clarify it because these are just mini readings i'm trying to make them short and sweet for those who are complaining because i don't want too light in negative energy it, it's affecting me right you already know you're winning okay next is number 64 kali this is what came out for you as advice now it's asking me to read the cards before i read it the, the thing so let's go obscurity secrets mysteries um hiding the truth now hold on it says the mother of the universe i release all that does not serve me it's time to be the truth of who i am you already know so it's time to just forget about these liars finality what did i say <laughs> it's time to just walk away from these liars who are hiding their feelings hiding being secretive playing this game they found on instagram to lead their self into depression harboring succubus incubus you know those people who just don't want to learn they don't want to ascend they know they're going to hell so they're looking for company to go to hell they're going to die poor like their grandfather and their grandmother right realization epiphany awakening with the shocking tower somebody waking up yeah to the fact that they need to walk away from liars, cheaters, thief. Low vibrational energy. Mm -hmm. The hermit. What did I say? They want to be alone. 
Yeah, but it's also a card of realization. Because the more you study people, the more you learn them. Right, let's go. Okay, it's a wrong deck, but we're going to keep the hermit. I'm going to read it. And then flip these ones. What kind of chips? The Texas barbecue. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Clarify for us these so that we can see them after. I'm seeing a black puma. I keep saying that. All these animals are like to come by me, you know. I don't know. Eight of swords, oh boy. Let's go. <laughs> I'm feeling it. What's the advice here? Kali is a subtle and sledgehammer. Kali is as subtle as a sledgehammer. She shows up to strip us of what no longer serves us. Yeah, walking away from something. Right? And that sounds good in theory, but in practice, it can feel as if the ground beneath us has turned to sand. All those illusions about ourselves, especially what we think we're capable of, suddenly dissolves beneath us. When Kali sweeps in, we can easily slip into feeling like a victim. It can feel as though events are happening around us, to us, rather than for us, right? Kali doesn't want us to waste another precious second being somebody that we are not. She does not want us to be with a partner who does not treat us with respect and the love that we need to do the light work we have come here to do. Let me read that again for those in the back. She does not want us to be with a partner who doesn't treat us with the respect and the love we need to do the light work work that we have come here to do design feminine kali wants us to serve the ties our e so sorry kali wants us to sever the ties that our ego have made us get into out of fear or out of false belief that we don't deserve better or we don't deserve more let go after the dirty boy but you already doing it already obscurity walking away from these liars People who like this, you see, this is a ghost here hiding for fun just to feed on your energy. Vampires that is what a real vampire is somebody who who comes and tickle you and then hide and suck on your energy, masturbate thinking about you, and they don't talk to you. That's a vampire, an energy harvester, an incubus, right? So, your guys are saying let go after these people forget that shit then you need you need somebody who can help you to ascend to do your light work not a succubus energy not an incubus energy right kali wants you to sever ties that your ego have made out of fear they give you a little bit of love so you feel like you want to stick to them because nobody else make you feel like that because Magic was on you that kept you depressed, kept you in your house, kept you overeating, kept you over drinking, kept you over sexing, put you under some some seduction and downfall energy, depression energy, failure energy. So that's how you get stuck to people like this because you're afraid of your own potential, ability, and talent. That's just my opinion. True word, like gun out. Now <clears throat> Let me continue. It says, She wants us to get 
terrifyingly real. Like, get terrifyingly real. Slap yourself hard. Laugh at yourself loud. You know? Recognize, say you're an idiot, and then wise up. That is get that is how you get terrifyingly real. You laugh and say, but for now, you know, see the boy don't like you. You don't you don't see? You prefer he prefer to be friends with your enemies. You don't see what he doing? Sucking your energy and acting like he not doing it. You don't see something possess him. You don't see like you have to tell yourself these things. This is an example. Okay? You don't see that this person is literally going to bring you to zero. What have this person ever done for you? What have they ever given to you? You don't see you're creating illusions in your head. You don't see one little grain of salt that this person give you. You take it and cook a whole pot of food and make the food taste good. It's not them who bring no nourishment. You keep nourishing a thing. You keep giving to a thing that is not given to you. You don't see that. You're being influenced by magic or subliminal spells or some vampire energy. You don't see it. You don't see the possess that the man guys this thing have been on the channel every day you don't see the possess that the man possess that it making him suck you dry and he keep ghosting you can't you see it see it and walk away from it because you're a light worker your angel your goddess your queen your big time manifester feel bad that is shocking realization Feel bad for how long you didn't see it because you cannot be chasing a ghost. These men, these women, they keep ghosting you because they're sucking on your energy. It's a trick that vampires do. See it, accept it, live it. As me say, slap your fucking self. Wake up. Because your whole life waiting for you. The real love out there waiting, but if you keep giving the ghost the energy, then it cannot come. If you keep if you keep responding to the shadow side in your masculine, he's got to stay in shadow energy. Drop him. Make him wake the fuck up. I'm telling you, this if you really love him and he really love you and you drop him, it's going to break every spell. Yeah, man. When you take your energy back from a demon. Yeah, it wake up the human being and the demon have left them. Okay, let me say that. Yeah, that is being terrifyingly real. Understand that is spiritual wickedness in high places. We're fighting on a human being. It is flesh and blood. Kali wants us to know. She wants us to reckon with the fact that we are not here to please others or to make them proud we are not here to make them proud we're not here to kiss their fucking foot and they already know that they're not here to kiss our foot that's why they keep ghosting us and chasing demons who keep ghosting them them are slave to doppy as me say them a vampire victim right we are here to listen to the singular call of our own soul yes yes kali is the harbinger of having entered Karios, which is soul time. Any stripping the e and stripping the ego to reveal the soul can feel raw and often heartbreaking. Yeah, because it's only ego gonna make you tolerate low vibrational energy as a high vibrational person. So you, you, your ego sometimes will rule you. Even if you hide vibrational, because you want to feel love, you want this this trick that these people, this, this obscurity, this mystery, this hiding, this secret, you know, this 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 they obscure, they are working on something, they are planning something, cultivation, growth, results, hard work, whatever this person doing, hard work, working on in secret behind your back, it is not for your benefit. These kind of people, you don't need them. What did I tell you? This person planning to reject your ass. Eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles just to reject you. Putting in work. You're already walking away. So it's not even going to work. Tell yourself the truth. This person just says, come and take your energy. Suck you out and leave you. It's going to make you feel bad, but you can start over. Kali has come out of fierce love for the truth. 
of who you really are. She is giving us an opportunity to choose to start over again. A place of tremendous wisdom and a place of strength is where we are starting from. You know, our own vulnerability, we are owning it. She lets us begin again from the bare bones of truth. And that is the truth of who we are. And she says, soul meditation, your soul voice meditation. What is falling away from my life right now that no longer serves me? That's the question. What is it? Who is walking away from you that you know really, really need? Don't forget you're up here. You're in your thing, you know. You're up. You are plus stacks and somebody somebody planning to break you down here. That's what they want. Say to yourself, I release all that does not serve me. It is time to be the truth of who I am. Farewell. Yeah. You don't want to be nobody option no more. So you're gone. So they're not, they're not going to get a chance to reject you at a time. Yeah, ten of ones realization it is not easy. It's not easy. What's going on with the ten of ones? Why is it not easy to leave this person? Yeah, I felt it. Can you love them? You feel a deep, 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 deep soul connection with them. But honey, they don't love you, okay? They're lying to you. They're planning to reject you. And they're a hermit. So whether you, you'll be a hermit too, because, yeah. This is what they're trying to do to you very quickly. Somebody is planning just to give you anxiety eight of swords eight of ones with the chariot with the wow wow guys wow guys with the two of God. with the two of ones that's that's what's gonna make them happy for you to lose focus i can't make it up eight of pentacles in reverse read the card somebody wants you to lose focus that is their wish fulfillment to break you down and they're planning it to come to you double speed in a chariot with eight of one's energy to give you anxiety. <sighs> I wasn't ready for that. And the goddess from far, mother of the universe, you know, 10 dimensional energy <laughs> is saying, let go. Don't let this thing shock you. Don't let nobody come and tell you, oh, only you, you're my dream come true, I love you, you're my twin flame, I am your divine masculine. Then to leave your ass single and lonely, break down your fucking foundation, just because they're jealous of your ass. Don't do it, babes. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm here with angel protection, definitely. What the angel and them saying here? Give us mm -hmm. four swords. Definitely. You're protected from slander. Nobody can call the name in no nonsense. Healing also. King of Swords energy. Victory grants victory and protection from lightning. So victory here and then healing. And then six of swords moving forward. Right? Nobody can make you the option. Seven of cups. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, the same thing. Nobody can make you no option here, babes. Five of ones. You win every competition. Bam. And you will maintain your queen of pentacles energy, empress energy. And here's your king of ones. He's an angel. You're a queen of ones over here. And your partner is, a, is an angel. <laughs> oh, he's protecting you from the three of swords. Heartbreak. And it's, look at this eight of ones. They want to bring... Guys with the world, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if this is a water sign doing this. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We give thanks for the protection. We put it at the window, Mosai. Try to make it short, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> Remember, I'm uploading the first 10 videos of my tarot course on Patreon. For the top tier members. So you can learn tarot with us. Okay. And the course is coming as soon as it's finished. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for everything. Stay motivated. Don't worry about this. You're stronger than that. You're Aries energy. You're born for this. Are you for, are you for tell them? Are you first not like them? And whoever Puma this is. Whoever Black Cat them send me yard this. 
Call back your animal because I'm not frightened. Okay? Okay. Mwah.